All right, guys, Mr. G here with more game reviews. And what do we got this week? Well, I'm bringing you five games in five minutes. And we're going to start first with Death Trash. This is an interesting old school Fallout 1X pixel graphic sandboxy walk around game. It's set in a world where you puke a lot. Not a lot makes sense. You've been cast out from the air vault you were living in controlled by the AI. Very Fallout-esque. Feels like something you'd play on the Super Nintendo back in the day. The art style of the world is pretty interesting. You can travel around on the map. You can check different things out. You can solve various quests. You can do pretty decent commands, intuitive controls for shooting and melee, but not going to be for everyone. So I'm trying to, in this video, give you guys games that are going to be good for wasting your time without wasting your time. So on to number two, Potion Craft. Now, Potion Craft is right now a free demo that you can check out on Steam, and you get to play the role of an alchemist in a medieval fantasy-type realm. You're going to be using old alchemy tools like a mortar and pestle and a bellows to explore different chemical reactions to make different things, obviously. It's fantasy, so there's not going to be real chemistry involved, but more just trying different concoctions and different combinations to create more complicated potions, which you can then sell to people in your shop. You've also got a garden in your backyard for growing stuff. And as you can see, the artwork and music on this is absolutely gorgeous. So any of you fantasy nerds out there that are into medieval stuff are absolutely going to enjoy potion craft. I had a good time with just a little bit of time that I did spend with it, but it's not for everybody. And right now it's still just a demo. So there's a current amount of missions you can go through. But other than that, it's not quite complete yet. So you have to stay tuned. If it's something you're interested in, put it on your wish list. Following the theme of medieval games, next up, number three, we've got Rising Lords. Imagine if Civilization had a medieval version. It plays a little bit like Battle Brothers in that you can create armies and they can fight on a tactical map. Also kind of reminds me of Lords of the Realm 2 that I played back before a lot of you were probably even born. Um, the art style is awesome. The hexes and the drag and drop of your peasant units make for an easy to learn game. However, some part about it just felt lacking and I couldn't put my finger on it. There's also a card system built into the battle elements. It looks beautiful, it feels fun, but some part of me just couldn't get immersed in it, and I don't know what part it was. Maybe it's the fact that there wasn't a ton of buildings to unlock, although the buildings you do get do all have upgrade options and defensive structure options you can use. And I did like that the battles involved thousands of units which you directly recruit from your population. Still, a decent game. Next up, this was a free game this week on the Epic Game Store that's Sheltered. Once again, we're back to our apocalyptic theme. And in this one, you play the role of a family trying to survive the apocalypse. You're going to have to craft rooms and devices to stay alive in your underground bunker. And it's going to be a lot of crafting, resource management, as well as psychological and mental management of your family. Let's just say that the G unit wasn't doing great. We were peeing and pooping in a bucket. We were running out of food and our RV was almost as bad as my van I bought in real life. That being said, the art style is great. Gameplay is fun. Many hours of fun entertainment in this game, especially if you're into dystopian, apocalyptic type games. As you can see, we've got a theme. Mr. G likes medieval and dystopian games, which brings us to our last game. This one's more of a Viking-esque game. It's from the guys by Pop Socks that make a lot of those free I.O. games. This one's called Sunset Kingdoms. Essentially, you're trying to build settlements and grow your settlements before the Vikings arrive and start wrecking your day. Everything occurs in real time. It's a very casual sit-down, plop-down structure, settlements and facilities. Really love the music and the art style. My only gripe was quality of life features and the user interface. The trade between settlements didn't really work well, so I felt like every settlement was struggling to make food, and I was just spending a lot of time going in between settlements to manage things where I'm like, why can't I have a global tab 
to manage all of these things? Why do I have to click between every single settlement I create, which you have to do to grow your population? Too bad because it really looked like a beautiful game and I wanted to spend time with it, but that part was just too big of a gripe for me. Guys, if you like this style of video, please let me know down below in the comments. And I hope to see you on the next one. Mr. G out.